Who hacked the Australian Prime Minister's WeChat? Truth is stranger than fiction. An Associated Press report dated January 23rd reports that the WeChat official account of Scott Morrison, Australia's Prime Minister, has been taken over and renamed. Joint Parliamentary Committee on Intelligence and Security Chair James Patterson accused the Chinese Communist Party of censoring the Prime Minister and called upon lawmakers to boycott WeChat. However, as ABC News reported on January 25th, the account hasn't been hacked and the Chinese Communist Party has nothing to do with it. In fact, according to the ABC report, the account never belonged to the Australian government and has been sold by its actual owner, a Mr. G from Fuzhou province, to Huang Aipeng, CEO of Fuzhou 985 Information Technology. The account's new owner has renamed it Australian Chinese New Life and intends to provide advice to new arrivals to Australia from China. According to the ABC, Mr. Huang has not even heard of Scott Morrison and was simply interested in the 76,000 followers on the account. In a decade of working in this space, I have never seen such a ludicrous situation and such a lack of due diligence. It's disappointing to see Australian politicians adopting blame, excuses and denial when the problem lies with their own poor processes. But that's not their fault. It's the responsibility of their Asia advisors. Australian government, if you have a China agency, you should fire them. The good news for the Australian government and any other Western organisation is that this situation is entirely avoidable. Good processes do exist and can be taught and it is imperative that Western organisations learn about WeChat now. Rather than boycott the sixth most popular social network in the world with over 1.26 billion users, Western organisations should be leaning in to WeChat. At RCN Asia, we've mapped out the digital pathway to China so that this kind of scenario never happens. We've taught some global organizations from Brazil to Hollywood to New Zealand, including finding audiences in China for New Zealand rugby and the mighty All Blacks. We begin with training. Our WeChat for Business hands-on workshop is available one-on-one -on -one or for groups. We also help Western organizations set up their verified WeChat official accounts. Often, Western organizations turn to Chinese agencies only to be lost in language misunderstandings or different procedures for overseas companies. For governments, individuals and organizations who are setting up WeChat from outside China, it's a very different process from those organizations domiciled within China. This is just the same as setting up accounts on any international technology platform. Different jurisdiction, different rules. If you use an agency or provider based in China, a China insider, they won't understand what you need looking from the outside in. The ASEAN Asia team is what you call China outsiders. It is critical to understand how to use Chinese technology infrastructure and systems from outside of China. We take people through the process, making you the account owner of your personal account and your WeChat official account. Most people don't know how to do that. Very few people who have WeChat know how to use it properly, just as very few people who use Facebook know how to use it properly. RCN Asia deeply understands the Chinese technology infrastructure and systems, and we also understand the needs of Western English-speaking organizations. We can speak your language to help you understand how to do WeChat correctly. The process of setting up and verifying a WeChat official account is rigorous for a few reasons. Firstly, WeChat is a financial instrument. Your organization's banking details are required so that you own your WeChat official account. Your account is verified using third-party auditors so that WeChat can vouch to their users that you are who you say you are. This protects WeChat users and your brand against imitations. The process is rigorous and the different jurisdiction and language can be daunting, but under the surface, the terms of use are very similar to those of Western social technology platforms. We have worked with conservative banking organizations that have had their legal teams analyze the documentation that goes with setting up a WeChat official account. They approved it with no questions after a detailed review. RCN Asia is an authorised provider, including payments processing in Australia, New Zealand and the United States. 
we set up Hollywood behind the China firewall and enabled them to receive payments in Los Angeles from China. Side note, China's not caught up in a war with the USA, quite the opposite. US exports to China have actually increased at the expense of Australia. RCN Asia has been a trusted partner to Western organisations including the New Zealand Electoral Commission who hired us to persuade New Zealand Chinese people to participate in the 2017 general election. A key part of that campaign was bridge building. I speak conversational Mandarin and I invite the feedback and two-way conversation with the local Chinese community. Wouldn't it be so good to see this same attitude in Australia? In summary, what happened to the Australian government is a result of poor process, not censorship and not interference. A better process would have led to a better outcome. RCN Asia provides the digital pathway to China and we can make it work for you in a way that you understand. Head to rcn.asia slash WeChat for information about the WeChat for Business Workshop and rcn.asia slash WeChat dash official dash account to get set up with your own WeChat official account.